The man you're looking at has made 1,000 desks for kids. But he's not a lumberjack. He's not a blacksmith. He's not a carpenter. This man is an elementary school teacher. Who is this teacher and why is he building desks instead of teaching? In Iowa, United States of America, I found Nate. Hi, Nass Daily. I'm Nate Evans, and I've built 1,427 desks for students in Central Iowa. And I do it cause I can. Oh, oh. Nate teaches kids in seventh grade, but because of the pandemic, his kids couldn't go to school anymore, and they had to study from home. It changed everything. I started seeing them in their homes and their everyday lives, and something struck me. Yes, Nate saw that his students were taking notes from the floor, from the kitchen table, from their beds, but few of them actually took notes from a desk. So he realized kids can learn better if they had a dedicated desk. And if no one is gonna get them a desk, then he should build them a desk by himself. I had started my woodworking company about four years ago, so I was like, let's do this. And I do it cause I can. Oh, oh. After school hours, Nate went to his woodworking shop and made a basic desk by himself, each costing him 30 bucks of his own money. Each desk taking him one hour to make and one hour and a half to deliver in his little minivan by himself. I think each desk is making a difference. Each student has a place of their own to study happily now, and I think that's worth it. And even when his money ran out, even when he was diagnosed with a tumor in his arm, Nate would never give up. Why? Because he knew that a simple desk could change a kid's education. And I, do it cause I, can. Oh, oh, oh. I remember the mother of three that told me that her life was hectic trying to have three kids to learn from home. And now their life is much more organized and each kid has their own space to grow and learn. And he plans to take it one step further. With the help of more than 500 volunteers and donations, he is making 2,020 desks by the end of the year. Whether we're in a pandemic or whether they're learning from online or it's just a place to do their homework, it's their place. Um, and it, it makes a big difference to a child that's never had that before. At the end of the day, Nate is just a teacher who decided to go above and beyond for his kids. He could have just ignored the Zoom. He could have ignored the kids learning on the ground, but he didn't. Teachers like him are the reason humanity is beautiful. Did you like that video? I hope so. It was a lot of effort and we're so happy to make it. In collaboration with Facebook, during the month of Ramadan, we are showing you the stories of 30 people in 30 days and each one of these stories is more amazing than the other. I hope you continue tuning in for this special daily series and follow us on Facebook. That's more than a minute. See you tomorrow.